against another big player in Mike Lambert. He just presses this right hand over. Beauty. Our Earthlink block of the match. Where do you keep your silver medal? I keep it in a sock drawer. Do you really? House. Yeah. Okay, be careful. <laughs> Robbers could come over. Well, you never know. Where do you keep your gold? You know, I keep it in the safety deposit box, yeah. but last week I let my daughter, Grace, who's eight years old, take it to school and show her friends and tell the Olympic story. Then I went and picked it up immediately. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Down the line goes Karch Karai. Let's set the scene for you. Karch Karai, the winningest player of all time, and his super stud partner, Mike Lambert. They are the number one team on the beach. They've won two tournaments this year. And they're trying to rebound from an awful game one, Mike Dodd. They just got thumped by Eric Fenoy, Moana, and Kevin Wong. And really, it's just the biggest story is Karch Karai's shoulder. He just can't really take a swing at it. And uh, Fenoy and Wong came out with a great game plan. And here in game two, Brian Lambert just playing conventional serve-receive. And they've re really started to find their rhythm. And that's why they're doing better here in game two. Four gold medals on the court. Fenoy's got one in 2000. He won it with Dane Blanton. Lambert doesn't have anything yet, and Karch has got three of them. Here comes Karch. And Karch with the cut shot. Is it more difficult announcing an entire match for Karch, or do you think playing an entire match for Karch? Oh, I think announcing. Anytime you can be out on the court and still be playing, I think uh, anyone would prefer to do that. And I know Karch uh, has a lot of volleyball left in him, and he's going to get his shoulder surgery here coming up after this tournament this weekend and he'll i know he'll be back next year wanting to play more volleyball and and be on the court and if not then come to the booth you know i asked karch about uh, his shoulder surgery and i said what are they going to do first and he says they're going to fix the hole in my capsule <laughs> the hole so that doesn't sound very no. good the hole in my capsule and then they'll work on anything else that uh, is uh, is uh, wrong in there or that needs to be fixed. He's going to have the surgery this coming Thursday. Right. And then he will not play in the final two events in the year in Honolulu, which is a king of the beach uh, formation. We'll have for you on NBC and then the final tournament of the year. Hot, hot. Barber. Hey, that spike is out of bounds. No touch detected. Fenoy begging for a touch and he's not going to get one. The linesman giving him the Kimbi Matumbo finger. <laughs> no, no, no. But Fenoy is saying, I heard it, but I heard it. Karai spiking much better in this particular game. Seven kills. And watch, it looks like it gives the finger there <laughs> to Kimby. Karch is there. Tell you what, Wong and Fenoy won so easily in game one. They've had a major letdown. Yes, and, and Karch and Lambert are just starting to do all those little things, and it all started with the Lambert block, and now Karch starting to pick up the defense. Don't forget, NBC back on the beach in two weeks on Sunday, September 26th, for the AVP Hawaiian Invitational, presented by Paul Mitchell. It's a king of the beach uh, situation. The AVP Hawaiian Invitational, presented by Paul Mitchell, two weeks from today, on NBC. Be a beauty. See Karch oh. playing with Fenoy and Fenoy playing with Ring Lambert. and Ring playing with Wong and and just nice to go back to Hawaii after many years of yeah. playing there and then we haven't been there for a while. Karch, Lambert. Oh, and Wong is there. And Lambert is irritated. Wong with his third block. And he's got three blocks in the stats, but he's doing a lot of nice little things up at the net. There's a stuff block there, but he's been dropping off, making all the right moves as a blocker. You know, there are a lot of players on tour that don't like Kevin Wong. They say he's got an irritating personality. Yeah. But uh, he's always seemed to be a nice guy when we've talked to him. Yeah, he's always been good to me. Yep. And, uh, you know, he has, he has an air and a, and a very confident air. Yeah, got a little and, smirk to him. And that can, you know, rub people the wrong way. But, you know, at least in, in the experience that I've had with him, and he was in a, a, a forfeit game in the Olympics in Sydney, and he asked me to come out on the court and play a little exhibition game, and it was really his uh, idea to do that, and that was a, a special time for me. I'll never forget that. Karch got the dig, and Wong shoves another one back. So Kevin Wong, as he did earlier in the year in Hermosa, dominating the match at the net. And 
suddenly, and he doesn't get those Lambert huge stuff blocks that are just so exciting, but he's always up there. He's got his hands in the right position, and he's making all the little plays work right now at the net. Karayan Lambert, however, continue to lead at 13 to 11. No sign of the I formation so far here in game two. And I think Mike Rangel, the coach for Karayan Lambert, was right. They were not playing well in that formation. Well, really, the biggest difference in game two is that Fenoy and Wong have come out and been much less aggressive with their serves. Lambert gets the soccer. Yeah, they're not serving hard. And so Lambert's Karai are just. And, and, and Karai's giving Lambert a perfect pass. And when, when that happens, then Karai gets a perfect set and he can really see the court much better. 14 to 11, Karai Lambert. Fanoi with some heat. So Eric Fanoi Moana. Again, just a perfect high set right in the middle, and Fanoi is going to just beat this ball cross court. He gets a chance to make that long approach and gather yep. himself. He's one of the best hitters out here. Fanoi loading up for a jumper here. Fanoi gobbles it up. It sets low. Lambert touching it, yes. Momentum for Karai Lambert. There we see what happens to Fanoi Moana when he doesn't get that high set. He's unable to take that approach and really couldn't hit a good ball in transition. Cut, cut, cut. Karch has got it. Over. Fanoi, back the other way. E. Fanoi, no. Lambert is there. But Lambert gets a block. Starting to take effect at the net, not just with stuff blocks, but causing Fenoy to hit high shots that Karai can run down. 16-12. And the body trying to get this one by. He could not. A lot of speculation that in that final tournament in Santa Barbara that Lambert might team up with Fenoy Moana. I wonder if Kevin Wong knows about that. We're coming back. Karai Lambert on the rebound. They lead 16-12. It's being called the most powerful storm ever. An NBC movie event. She's not gonna let us out. Look out! George Clooney. Mayday! Mark Wahlberg in the network premiere of The Perfect Storm. NBC Tonight, 8, 7 Central. The Pacific Northwest, a land of individuals. A place where there's never a shortage of opinions. Leading here in game two. Karai Lambert, uh, two uh, players and two gentlemen that respect each other very much. Listen to them both. The MVP is such a clear choice, and it's such a clear choice this year in Mike Lambert. He has played an absolutely phenomenal year, and I'm hoping to hang on to him for next year because he is such an intimidating force at the net. It makes it so much easier for whoever's playing with him, and I hope that's me. Playing with Karch Karai is a true honor and a true joy. I used to have his posters on the wall when I was a little kid, shagging balls uh, at the beach tournaments in Hawaii. And now I have a cell phone and uh, you know I can call him and call my partner. He makes me better and he's, uh, he's a great gentleman and a great competitor. They've been good for each other, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, the Mutual Admiration Society there, and uh, well-deserved on both parts. I think uh, Lambert's just really come into his own this year as a, 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 a truly complete beach player, and then the joy of being able to play with a guy that you idolized growing up. I remember at the start of the year, I was talking to Karch about who he was going to play with, and he said he had to make a decision to play with Mike Lambert or Jose Loyola, was the other guy he was thinking about playing with. And uh, Jose Loyola, I remember, had never played the right side before. And I was thinking, yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe we better go get Lambert. But I didn't know, and I don't think anybody knew, how good Lambert would become, did they? Well, I think everybody knew what a great hitter and blocker he was, but I don't think anyone realized that he would mature this quickly in all the little facets of the game, as far as dropping off the net, playing defense, setting, all the finesse parts of volleyball that he's, he's really excelling at now. Got a great touch. Long high ball. Fenway Karch digs it. 
mention that uh, Fenoy Moana knows Karch Karai about as well as any player on the beach. Well, Karch knows Fenoy well also, <laughs> and he knows that Fenoy likes to bang that hard cross court spike. Karch is usually there. And, and this game, too, completely different as yep. far as Lambert's blocking and Karai's defense behind the block really starting to take effect, and that's why they're leading here in game two. 17 13. The energy has just gone out of Wong and Fenoy. They are just and dead on their side. Well, you said it earlier that the game one was so easy for them that they really came out flat here in game two. They didn't keep up their aggressive serving more than anything else, and they've really given Karai and Lambert a breath to uh, make their comeback. Lambert is up high. That, folks, was a textbook block. If Earthlink wants to stockpile blocks <laughs> for its block of the match forever and ever, watch this. Watch his left arm go up here and just, whoo, he drops in on Fenoy. And Lambert with a cagey move. He didn't really press that much over the net. He just reached that left hand, took it down. Got there a little, a little bit late. 19-13. Now Fenoy's <laughs> taking a look. Karch left-handed. Fenoy cutting inside. So Eric Fenoy Moana gets another kill. He's got 14, but he's got some errors too. He's got eight unforced errors. So Fenoy doing battle with Lambert at the net. That's a tough assignment for anybody. 19-14, Karai Lambert. Right. And the spike is on the line. Nice shot. That time, Fenoy with a little nice juking defensive move of his own in the backcourt, reading Karai's shot. 19-15, Fenoy and Wong trying to catch up. Hi, hi. And down the line, that's a hard chop by Karai. <laughs> that's, the, that's the maximum velocity you can put on it right now. Karch Karai, once again, in case you missed it, playing with the injured shoulder. He doesn't have heat, but he's got direction. And he passes the ball perfectly, which enables Lambert to give him a perfect set. Karai has nine kills in this game. He's got 10 in the match, so do the math. <laughs> Only had one in that first game. And the first game point, Karai Lambert. Karch is there for the win. Good, Mike. 
Mike, because that means he'll get contact number three. And again, it's the little plays. Lambert in the first transition set Karai too tight. What does he do? He comes and covers the play and then gets the bomb away for the point. 21 digs for Karch Karai, who announced in our booth the women's final. Loosened up in the booth and then made his uh, presence felt. Maybe he didn't get quite the warm-up he had hoped, Mike Dodd. Maybe that's why he looked a little rusty in game one. The booth warm-up is not as good as his normal. Not as his regular routine. Not, not his Although regular he got routine. plenty of hip rotations he in did. up here. And some belly rotations. His stomach was warmed up. And his jump wasn't quite there in game one. And Lambert again with another block. Getting off to a quick start. Now has four. Third and final game to 15. It's three to nothing, Karai Lambert. Fenoy. And Fenoy with a big blast down the line. One win this year, that was at Hermosa earlier this summer with his partner Kevin Wong against Karai and Lambert. Fenoy knuckling it up. Nicely done. And he puts it away. A beautiful play by Eric Fenoy Moana. And again, Fenoy so patient defensively, just waiting to the very last second. He's got that little knuckle up there and cuffed it down for another big point to get some momentum going his way. 3 2 now. And Wong is eyeing Karai. Lambert's got it. And Lambert tries to hammer it, and Wong is there. So the fifth block for Kevin Wong. And you, and you said it earlier, Lambert, he's so gifted physically, such a great hitter, and he gets so few opportunities yeah. to attack that he just when he finally gets one, he just wants to hit it so hard, and that time he drops his arm, and a good blocker like Kevin Wong is going to get those. Wong has got the smirk going now as he eyes Karch. And Lambert going on two. So Karai Lambert. And there is Annette Davis. And what a terrific player she is and had a fine tournament, but has to be thinking in the back of her mind how we didn't beat Walsh and May. We beat him in game one. We had a 15 to 10 lead and a, I believe it was 18 to 15 lead. And we couldn't put him away. That was off Lambert's head. Of course, Annette Davis and Jenny Johnson Jordan, the fifth ranked team in the world, did not get to go to the Olympics because of the country quota. And they are playing as well as any team on the circuit right now. Re really, the only team that's beaten uh, yeah. Misty and Carrie the only team in, in a beat long time. <laughs> beat them in Manhattan, beat them in Chicago. And Karch tapping, tapping. So Karch Karai in his 27th year. He's got 12 kills, 21 digs. And he will chat with his relatively young partner, Mike Lambert, at age 30. 5-4. And Fenoy into the net. I was about to ask you if you were surprised that Fenoy was getting so many serves. But maybe Lambert knows something. Well, it's been a long season, and Karai and Lambert have a method to their madness, and they're keeping the ball on Fenoy. Third and final game, Karai and Lambert leading 6-4. Huh. Xbox. Fun. The shootout presented by Bud Light. Elaine Youngs, the runner-up, who's had a tremendous year, winning six tournaments. She's been enjoying some of the festivities, some of the outposts at an AVP Nissan Series event. What's your favorite part of an AVP uh, an event, Mike? Well, I mean, definitely as a player, it was always just being so intimate with the with your fans. I mean, I think beach volleyball is so unique in that the fans have such great access to the players, and I always, as a player, enjoyed the same thing, being able to talk to the fans and, and share experiences, and it just seems like Elaine Young has just had a lot of fun this year with the bronze medal uh, topping it off. Lambert and Karai are working on Eric Fenoy Moana. They 
They've served him 23 straight times before that one. Here comes Wong. Karch is there to go to seven. Karch, tippy. Wong scoops it up. And Lambert is there to reject. That ball might have crawled over the net had Lambert not been there. But that's his sixth block instead. And again, Lambert's taking his toll at the net, not just with stuff blocks, but with making Wong and Fenoy change their shots and easy plays for Karai to pick up defensively. Lambert's doing the job now at the net. Three in a row for Karai Lambert. 7-4 lead in a game to 15. Lambert. 
Carter did a real good job of just pushing Karch completely out of the way on that free ball so that he would be able to have the third attack. You're going to see Fenoy just bump it over, and Lambert takes the whole court, says, Karch, get out of here. It's my turn, and delivers. I have a theory about the Karai show of emotion. He sat in Athens with us <laughs> for three weeks watching, watching teams who he thought maybe he could have played. He might have been an American representative had the rules been different. Then he didn't get to play in Chicago. And now he's here with the chance to win. And you can see that pent-up emotion that Karch has kind of starting to ooze out of him. Will it ooze all the way out? <laughs> can they get the 15 first? 9-6, Karai Lambo. Let's go, you know the routine. Let's, down. Let's give you the Xbox play of the match right now. Happened early in game one. Karai and Lambert in I formation, Mike Dodd. And this play unfolded with some great digging. First by Fenoy Moana. Then Karchi picks it up. Fenoy and Wong so patient in game one, but that time, Lambo taking effect at the net. A couple of great digs. Karai get down. So you got a blocker like Lambert. If you can just scramble and get the ball back over the net, you give yourself a good chance. And there you see the emotion of Karchi. Our Xbox play of the match. Karch Karai, is he closing in on career win number 147 or just some major disappointment? His team leads 9-6. Lambert goes and gets it. And Lambert puts it away. So Karai, smartly, didn't have a great shot. Wong up there, tapping it in, getting it back. And just like he did in 88 in Seoul against the Russians, just kind of going up and tapping it off the block. And every time Lambert can cover and get the third hit in transition, that's a bonus for Karai Lambert. 10-6. Wong goes and gets it. And Wong smacks it on the line. So Kevin Wong, who was born in Honolulu, grew up there, the pride of Punahou High School, one of the great volleyball high schools in America, a factory. Went to UCLA, a big star there, two-time winner, NCAA champion. Now out on the beach, still with a chance here, trailing 10-7. Good serve, Lambert. Oh, and Lambert! Oh! With a little tunder on that one. 11-7. And again, you just love to see the camaraderie between Lambert and Karai. Lambert just unloading, and the first thing he does is turn, face Karai, and said, yeah, I'm helping you, you help me. Let's go. Lambert with the new wife, looking for the big paycheck. First place, 11-7, Fenoy smacks it. So Fenoy, Moana, and Wong, who looked so good in that opening game, dominating Karai and Lambert, but as Mike Dodd theorized, Karai and Lambert would figure out a way to come back, and they did in game two. Now we're in game three. 15-point limit, must win by at least two. Karai and Lambert lead it 11 to eight. Oh! That serve is out. Jump serving has been virtually ineffective here for both teams. What little there is of it. Here you see the frustration in Fenoy there, just trying to be a little bit more aggressive, put a little more pressure on Karai, and he just waffles that ball out of bounds. And right now Karai with a commanding four-point lead in, in the quick game to 15. Oh, Lambert was there. Nice pickup. Fenoy. Did he get a touch? I don't think so. And now Karai and Lambert are closing in. Karch Karai with 146 career wins. His first back in 1979, Santa Cruz with his good friend Sinjin Smith. Karch Karai, three Olympic gold medals. He's won over $3 million. And he has got the intensity written on his face. 13 to 8. And the spike is out. Here they go. They'll have and I their chance right now. And I tell you, your theory of a little bit of pent-up frustration, but I think also as you get older, 43 years old, you savor every moment like this when you get the opportunity, because you never know. This could be it right here for the championship. Wong, and Wong taps it on the line. 17 hitting errors have plagued Fenoy, Moana, and Wong. And with the rally scoring, Karai and Lambert have put themselves in the 
enviable position. Old Steve serve. Old pinky hat is going to get another victory, folks. Barring a collapse. <laughs> Championship point number two. And five more after that if they need it. Wong will serve it. He's going to jump it up to try to put the pressure on, but he can't miss. And Wong serves the ace. Beauty. Now can he do it four more times? So Wong blasts down the middle. I remember when Adam Johnson in Grand Haven about 15 years ago served two aces in one second to tie up a match. Of course, the clock not in evidence tonight. Second championship point for Karai Lambert. Wong. Lambert, this could be it right here. One Lambert spike for the win. 